Hey, 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 how's it going, YouTube fam? Glad you stopped by to check out this cool video that I'm doing uh, regarding the iPad. And this is me making beats with the iPad uh, using Gadget 3. So this was a recent update. I was about, I think the update was last month in February. And they added two um, new uh, devices, the Sydney which I, I have here. And then the one that I don't have is a guitar um, gadget. And I'm, I'm just trying to see if it's, should I, do I really need that? Or I don't know. I'll check it out. I need to check it out a little more. But yeah, so I'm um, working on this beat. I just wanted to show you guys how I make beats in the Core Gadget 3. I know that some people don't like Core Gadget 3 because of the way it sequences. However, um, they steer away from it for some reason. But it's not really that difficult. It's actually really easy once you get the understanding of it. And it's just that instead of going right from left to right, it goes uh, downward. <laughs> like, you know, a traditional dog goes left to right. This one goes from up to down. So that's the way they do it. Like, I guess, like how the British drive on the opposite side with their cars from Americans, same way with this thing going on with the core thing. So, um, working on this beat, I'm just showing you like a pretty cool way how I uh, sequence through this and arrange. As you can see right now, I have an intro verse, a verse one in the core. And I'll show, oh, let me show now how I, how I do this. So, the best way to do it is a function uh, button here at the bottom. Right here, right? So, this uh, table will come up or this uh, visual will come up. And on the far left side, um, these are where you could say if you want to duplicate this track, you would go to select. And then when you, you would choose which track that you want to duplicate. And let's say, for example, if I duplicate the first one, then you can see where it says duplicate. You press duplicate, dupl duplicate, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And it'll make a copy of what you um, requested. So basically, I take the main portion of the the foundation of the um, song and i would break it up you know for the verse and chorus or pre-chord or bridge if i ever decide to do a bridge like we do bridges no more these days for some reason in r&b but uh i pretty much like i said i made a copy or duplicated it and then i created my intro and my verse and how i did that is pretty much you just delete uh, certain instruments or gadgets within that um, pattern to create the intro. So let's listen. Let's take a listen to what I have now. So I'm start So yeah, that's pretty much what I did. Very simple and very easy, right? So let's go to this, uh, the Rhodes keys. And obviously I play this using the MIDI controller uh, to create the chord progression. I couldn't do that on just <laughs> trying to hold my hands on, you know what I'm saying? Trying to uh use both of my hands and make that happen so obviously that ain't you know pretty much work for me so i had to use a a midi control in there and so i could be able to play with both of my hands and to to uh run my chord progression so i did that so you can actually do that with a midi controller you know i did it with an 81 key so i have a like a one of those nice little casio keyboards or piano like sort of keyboard thing 
and it's 88 weighted key so i like to sometimes go it has midi in and out and so i go out of my midi and in into my um midi in the uh ipad which you would have to use like the camera connection kit that adapter so it could take the midi and read it so yeah and then that's how it created that chord progression right there so just food for thought all right so have the madrid that's my bass obviously i have lisbon like a three-dimensional um, synth and the piano Salzburg and then this, this is a really uh, kick-ass uh, drum uh, module very nice sounding drum so I have two drums I'm actually using so I'm using the recife as well and then um, the acoustic drums cover the um, basically cover the um um like the core or you know the the transition you know and i want to talk about let's look at verse one um see verse one here So you notice um, when you're looking at each sequence, um, some are going faster than others. And the reason why, um, like the recife, this drum module here. So I had to uh, to transition to go to the chorus from the verse, but I had to make a difference. So I had to delete some of the things out. Um, but to make it eight bars, you can go here. And you can do individual bars, as you can see right here. If you see and notice four bars, eight bars, four, 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 four and on down for the um, verse one. So the eight bar, will that will move uh, eight bars. And the other ones will move just regular four, and it'll just repeat. That way it can give me, allow me to do that transition without deleting other things at the same time. So that's what makes this interesting. So that's really cool you could do that. So just the food for thought when you're doing your arrangement or whatever idea you have. Like let's say for example, let me go to the glass stone. Right. And so I'm in the glass stone, right? So this So I can do something simple even you know to even add to it. Uh let's say let's play it. I go and you can do something like that or you know something like that you know to you know go in the transition a little better you know so i can record that in so just little ideas you could do that if i if i decided to do it i haven't decided if i want to do that or not yet so once i've done the first verse and then it goes to the chorus and the chorus will go back into the second verse so let me show you how it would create the second verse. So I would pretty much, oh, I can just copy the first verse and make a second verse out for, for it, from it. But I want to make it different because I want to make it to where it's a little bit different, like as far as the in instrument. So I'll copy, uh, let's go to function. And I'm going to copy um, this chorus. So you, I'm selecting chorus and it's going to duplicate it. All right, so it duplicates, and let's see what we got here. As you can see, it says core copy, so it made a copy of that. So I'll go back and hit function, and um, let's go ahead and hit this, and I'll rename this, and I will say second verse or verse two. But that's pretty much how you do it, like you would do it in a DAW, same thing. All right, we name it, get out of there. So, 
So I know I would want um, the Glassstone drums, because that goes for the chorus for right now, unless I get another idea to do something else. So I would delete that out. Um, what else? I'm going to break the bass in And let's see what we got. Let's see. Let's take that listen out Now, I just need to make a decision for the second verse. Um, what else I want to take out? Um, let's see. Let's see. You can test this one. So for the second verse, I'm going to leave that sample. That's what I mean. That's what I, you know, in there, I'm going to leave that in there. So I'm going to leave as the second verse. So to make it different from the first verse. So let's check it out. For the beginning. Let's see So that's what I would do for <laughs> the verse two. And, you know, and you just repeat it on in the chorus. And again, if I wanted to make that transition into the chorus, I would have to delete uh, some stuff out of this verse in the drums, kind of like I did the verse one. So I kind of kind of have to match it up. So I would do this right here. So I would go to verse two function. And let's, let's change this to repeat one time because we don't need to repeat like the chorus did. All right, now, if you notice and you look at the recipe, okay, here, um, this one, and go back so you'll see it there. And um, if you look here, you'll see the MIDI data right here, right? Okay. So... Instead of me going to taking stuff out like I had to do the first one, I don't have to do that no more. So I can basically pretty much do this right here. Watch this. Go to function. Okay. Uh, verse one. Copy. The rest of a copy. Uh, where's verse one? That's core. Verse one and copy rest of a on here. Make sure you follow in the same line. Okay. So you want to copy and you have to select what you want to copy okay and this is a little bit different because usually you could copy and you paste it where you want 
Okay, so I already made the copy, so I got to paste it where I want it. So I'm copying this box here that doesn't have a circle around it, and I'm going to verse 2, and I want to paste it there. So paste it here. And it, let's see if it worked like we wanted it. See, now you see it. So here's verse 2. Okay. So let me go back in. It should, um, okay, cool. It should do the same thing like verse one did. Okay? Which it does look alike. So let's check it out. See it And then it'll go in the chorus. So you see where I'm going with this. Okay. So um, I would say uh, when you just, you just keep going until you build it up until you build a full song. And, you know, it'll be the chorus, the chorus next out that verse two. And if you want to throw a third chorus or if you want to throw a bridge or you want to just throw a break somewhere, depends on what you want to do or what, what your creativity is leading you to do. So that's pretty much how you would sequence in core gadget three very easy i'm pretty sure other people might do it a little different but i found this format the way i am doing it it's easier for me um there are a lot of other things that you could do but it depends on what your song is asking for or what you know it could be different situations so i can't really say okay your situation the song might be this so you have to do this no you just at least as long as you know the basic fundamentals that you want to alternate things and and, and and be able to make that happen via this app then you could do whatever you want with it so let me show you some other apps that i have so let's get out of here that i use i just want to show you guys right quick some of the other apps that i use so let's save i always save i believe i do believe this uh thing this app not thing i'm sorry i don't mean to call it a thing but i do believe this app um auto saves so i do believe that they auto save so let's go Looking all weird and stuff on pictures on my picture. Uh let's see where we at. Go to my let's check out uh uh FL Studio. And so I make beats in the FL Studio too. And here's some of the beats that I made. And same thing, you know, it's just the format different. FL Studio is just more like the DAW, so you don't have too many problems with that. Let's go pop in um this let's check out what this song I made in there. Let's see it. It says CPU. Okay. I think that's a little too loud. Let me go to the mixer a little bit. And let's bring this down, the master down a little bit. Okay, so that's one song, like kind of like a little drill type joint that I made here. Let's go back to the. Um, oh, this has been an update. Has the um, circle of fifth on here. 
They did an update. I didn't even know this. Ah, uh, snap. Okay, now. Go ahead. FL Studio Mobile. All right, so going back to this one. Let's go in another uh, song. I'm going to definitely look into that and see what's going on. Popping with that. Um, Let's try this song. Let's see what this song is dealing with. Let's check one more out. Go back in here and let's see what else. Uh, uh, let's try. Let me see. Let's try this one. I don't think I'll. Let's just check this one out. All right. So let's go to the master and bring it down. Because since I was thinking it was loud, let's start starting. All right, so that's another drill joint I did. And um, believe it or not, you could do, you, you know, the um, the uh, slides, the bass slides in FL Studio on mobile too as well. You just have to automate it. And, um, you know, it does you automate the slide. Or, or you, you do the usual, you put one note above the other one and put it, just offset it a little bit. It'll make, a, make the bass the 808 slide that way. And you can enhance it even more when you automate it in there too. So that's what I usually do in this mobile app. Um, I guess I can show that one of these days if you want to know how to do it. Just let me know. All right, so let's go back to another one. Um, what's this one? Let's check this one out.
so yeah so these are some of the apps that i use you know to produce songs um as you can see if i go back you know just different things like that i don't have that many um i have because i haven't been doing a lot of stuff on the ipad lately but i'm starting it back and there's another one beat maker 3 beat maker 3 is awesome so i'm you know same situation same like fl studio and um uh there's another one nano studio 2 that does this like a doll it acts just like a doll here nano studio 2 and you know so i just rock with all those and make beats on the ipad so uh if you guys like what you seen and heard definitely give me a subscribe i would definitely appreciate it just trying to build and grow this channel as much as i can so i can get a lot more good and cool content out and give me give me a subscribe man i'll definitely appreciate it and you know comment and tell me what you like and don't like you know thumbs up thumbs down you know either way let me know